Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Second, and we are playing all the mods 6. And, uh, I had a lot of fun the last episode, uh, setting up that little farm. Looking at the distances that, uh, we're getting harvested, it looks like you could do a little 5x5 five five with that setup. And, and kind of a low resource, I guess you gotta use some diamonds to make it. Um, but, you know, it's really not bad. I want to look into the silt, and I have an idea that I saw some um, by a dark oak forest. Now, we've lost our map, and then we're, I think we're about to lose it again. So, what I want to make is one of these nature's compasses. Okay, so it's four saplings, four logs, and a compass. Do you have a compass in here? No. Very easy enough to make. And we'll just run upstairs and get some sapling and some logs. Let's see. I got plenty of dark oak. And take this. A little too much. That's okay. So we make our compass just with redstone surrounded by iron and then. Uh, There it is. <laughs> now we have Nature's Compass. Now this this mod is pretty cool. Um, what you do is you, you hold the compass and you right click and you can select a biome. You can search. Um, let's, let's start a search. I want to select a... Okay, so here's our, our search bar. So we want a dark forest. We'll start a search. Nearest dark forest at those coordinates is 2300 blocks away. So let's see what this thing actually has to say about sylphs. Um, we got uh, curious nature sprites that are exclusively found in forested areas. Okay. Summon sylphs. We need sylph shards. Wild sylphs can be befriended and will drop sylph shards if a tree is grown near them. So, apparently... Huh, produce natural materials that exist around them. That's interesting. What we want to try to do is get a hold of some of these sylph shards. So I guess what we want to do is get some saplings. Um... Oh, we, oh, I know where you can get some sapling. Right here at the farm. This thing has been a lifesaver. It's so worth the effort and the investment. We'll just take a stack of wood. And we'll make... Oh, we need nature too. That's okay. We got plenty of nature. And a couple wood, a couple nature. We will get a whole stack of oak sapling. Now I'm going to go downstairs and grab some bone meal. And we're ready to be on our way. Now the compass will point towards the biome that you have uh, you have a, you have a set for. And if you select it, you can see what forest you're going to, its coordinates, and how many blocks it's going to take for you to get there. So it's a uh, very simple mod with only the one item, but it's very, very cool, very useful. We're heading out there, and I saw some ruins. <laughs> Look at these! Oh, we're dying off! Ridiculous. That's actually nice underwater. Anyway, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's one of those frogs. <laughs> we're we're taking this thing home with us. Come on, buddy. Oh, look at that big froggy smile. Hey. You're coming home. Nice. And here we are. We got some of this forbidden in our countess wood that I've harvested quite a few times now. Still haven't managed to do anything with it. Now, I do see two little mobs on the, uh on the radar here. 
Not really sure. Oh, that one's a B. Okay. I checked the other one. Cow, so we can see that. We got another B. Another one over here. Is there something interesting? At least I think it is. Aha! Did you see that? Oh! That is, that is a vex. That is not what I was expecting to run into. Okay. So that was a vex. That was not a soul. I guess vex is just spawn in this. I like walked over a buried woodland mansion or something ridiculous like that. That's another bee. Let's check over here around the water. I swear I saw some around the water once. That's a zombie. And that's another bee. That's a fish. Alright, we'll come back if we find one. What? I don't know what it is. I'll bet it's from Elemental Craft, so I'm starting to reckon that ooh, made out of lag. Check it and see. Ooh, pretty my turn. Take that. Trapped or something? That seems easy. Oh, uh, it's just the, the usual stuff. I don't need gunpowder. Now, this stuff is new. I've started to run into it. Um, I haven't really gotten into this mod yet, so I don't know what it's for. I haven't found any silks yet either. Okay, check this out. I I greatly underestimated the utility of the explosion. <laughs> Big boom! <laughs> Doesn't seem to be hurting them very much, but it's hilarious. Oh, I'm out of mana. Oh, all right, see you, suckers. What? Okay, I'll bet it's one of those things from Thermal. I have no idea. I guess we'll cash down the replay. That might have been a base ball? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, there's a fancy pants over here. No. Pick any of that up. Probably not. Do we get any? Uh, we got a bunch of scuba gear. It's weird, you know, like with all of them wearing scuba gear like that, I wonder how they became drowned. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. There's a sylph! There's a sylph right heckin' there. So all we have to do is grow a tree? Is that right? Oops, that's not what I mean. Can I grow this tree right here? Yeah, did I get it? Yeah! Silk shard! Now I think we lose the silk when it does that. Yeah, so just like the, uh, just like the carbuncle. Now we have one. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if there are any others over here. Yeah, what did I tell you? Dark Oak Forest. Memory might not be that good, but it's good for something. Hey. Trying to see over here, buddy. Who's over here? Probably just a bee. Something astonishingly dangerous, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we got what? Oh, oh, there we go. Very good. I would rather have two than one, definitely. Um, nice. Alright. Success! We're heading back home. Do you hear it? 
Do you hear it? I was doing something else and I heard it. Where is it coming from? Where could it be coming from? Is it coming from down here? This is what I heard before. And I came back and I said, do you hear that? And there was nothing to be heard. Where could it be? What could be making the, what could be making the gas noise? Holy crow, it's a ghast! It's a ghast in the overworld! It's the three ghasts! All kinds of ghasts! What's happening? There's a, there, there, there are zombie piglins down here? I thought I was losing it! No, this is real, folks! I don't know if it's something to do with the update, <laughs> but uh, this is this is this is uh, this is another biome now, and it's right next to my house, and I don't know why. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Is that a? No, that's just fire. I thought that was a blade. Okay, is there a por- Did you- I just saw them spawn! Did you see that? What on earth is happening? Okay, so it's- This is a visceral heap now from Biomes of Plenty. And, uh... Oh my! So we have another biome right next to us. I don't know why. Look at what it's done to the water. Oh, that's a that's a biome field go thing. They might have just updated it. But dear oh dear. How can we exploit this? Look at this jerk! I don't know how they got anywhere near here. This is a cooler world than it used to be, folks. Anyway, next thing on our agenda, I just hit like nine wrong keys in a row. Um, next thing on our agenda is to try to make this silk charm. Now we need a mana gem, mana bloom, oh, mana bloom seed. Mana bloom seed, huh? Okay, I thought it was one of those little things. Um... Bloom seed. Okay, so we just need regular seeds and uh, four mana crystals for that. We did that before. That's not too hard. I guess we don't need that. Um, and I just happen to have some seeds. Okay, so we really only need four of these. One, two, three, four. There we go. That gives us our mana seed, which goes right there. And let's see how the rest of this works. Go back to our uh, silk charm chapter. Okay. Gem, bloom, oak, seed. Still got this sticky key problem here. It's not sticky keys. It's uh, something else. Um... I basically spilled something on the table I have my computer on. It's been giving me guff ever since. Um, see, bloom. I already forgot. Um, oak, wheat, darn it. Oak, seeds. Okay, birch, spruce, diamond. Oops. Diamond. Spruce, birch, why not? And then we're going to put, uh, I'm only going to make one of these because I don't want to put a second one down, whoops, by accident, like I did with the carbuncles. Now, according to the book, these things, uh, are made happy by the diversity of the natural world around them, and they have a block, what did it say, 10 range? Ten blocks from the summoning crystal. So we're going to need another summoning crystal, apparently. Um, 
So that's fine. I, I don't know what's up with that. Um, that's supposed to be telling us. To generate drops, oh, this is what it's telling us. Sylphs require world mana that is in a jar adjacent to the summoning crystal and an inventory or chest next to the summoning crystal. Sylphs will place their items directly in the chest in exchange for mana. Sylphs will generate drops more often with a higher mood, more drops of time for every unique block in their home. Extreme diversity. So we're going to need to make another one of these summoning crystals. And that is two gold, two diamonds, four of these arcane stones, mana gem, and a shift right click, and some groovy particle effects. There's our summoning crystal. We're also going to need another mana jar. I forget how to make those. And a jar. Okay, just glass and arcane stone. Alright, so I'm on. Da, 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 da. And I'm gonna wanna put one of those, uh, what do you call them? I can't remember. Um. Spell mana. Okay, spell casting. Maybe in a world mana chapter. Well, maybe if I just go and look at the other. Alright, it's a mana condenser. There it is. Uh, three more arcane stone, a hopper, and three iron ingots. Alright. Easy. Now what we're going to need, according to this, I'm just going to clear this here so I can stop seeing the, <coughs> the exclamation points of this stuff I've already read. Um, so let's see, is it a 10 block radius or a 10 block diameter? 10 blocks in any direction from the summoning crystal. So we're going to need 20 by 20 area. That's significant. I wonder where we're going to put that. Okay, if I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing, sorry to interrupt the, uh, the Ars Nouveau, but I think this is full of pus. Why is it full of husks? This is now a red desert dunes? Holy crow, look at the size of this fella. Well, that freeze is something else. I like that. Yeah. Alright, I guess I get to hunt husks in the morning now. That's a little bit of alright. Here's another one with a silly hat. Why do you have a... Oh, pardon me. Still got my jetpack on. Why do you have a silly hat like that? Freeze last a minute. Did we get a silly hat? We did not. That's okay. So all of our non-vanilla biomes seem to have gotten changed to something else. This was Dune, now it's Seeka Woods. Which is, you know, fine, we still have all our sand, also we have nice green grass now. Where have we taken the sand away? So I'll be taking the sand away from uh, over there by the little village, too. What I'm try to do is uh, get this still set up. Um, now, what it wants is uh, basically this here. Uh, we're going to right click right here is where we want it. Okay. And we get our mana jar right there. Our chest. Right over there. Right underneath. I don't know. Um, and our summoning crystal right here. Clear blocks marked in red.
Alright, that's interesting. It's supposed to be up in the air? Well, let's see what happens when we use the silk charm. It seems fine. I'm a little bit happy. So happy? Seems happy. Now, it's supposed to produce stuff for us based on what's around. So, in a ten, in ten blocks from the, from the, what do you call it? The summoning crystal. So, we're gonna see if we can't grow a dark oak tree here. See what our friend here does. Stuff going into the chest already? No, it is not. I'm going to put these right here, just in case that is interfering. Okay, so there's a dark oak tree. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Oh, we do have some more magic trees. I'm going to lay a little bit more of the boundary path here. Alright. I don't know if we have any mana in here yet. I don't think we do. So let's, uh, let's just grow a little crop here. See if this will work. Um, I seem like it. I'm going to replace the mana jar with this one over here. Oh, this one, right? Okay, there we go. Okay. Now it's consuming mana, apparently. Let's see if it'll still work if I put the condenser on it. Is it still going to do things? Where'd you go? Been around doing something. What are you doing? Oh ho! Okay! So it just goes in here automatically. That's interesting. Will it still work if I uh, do that? Let's see. Yeah, I see little green sparkles. That leads me to believe it's working. Yeah, okay, we're, we're getting new and different things. Maybe that's dirt? That's cool. Okay, so the next thing we need is a way to uh, regenerate the mana in the jar here, right? What we're going to do is use a... Uh, whoops, that's not what I'm looking for. We're going to use a dispel on... Uh, whoops, I forgot to actually make the spell. <laughs> Create. There we go. V, maybe? Dispel. There we go. This whelp will use the apprentice spellbook in series if the item is in a summoning chest. What do I have to shift click it? Okay, projectile dispel. Oh, the carbuncle got it. And I'll bet the same thing is true of our friends the carbuncles, right? Yes, indeed. Cool. So we're going to take this and this. Alright, we want the summoning crystal right here. And we want our wealth right here. Now, I don't think it has the harvest spell on it yet, but let's find out. Doesn't look like it. 
Okay, let's see what happens if we give it the scroll. You gonna you gonna do the thing? Oh, I think one of these has to be fully grown. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Let's put our carbuncle down on the chest over here. The other one fixing up. And the growth should be making the silk wherever the silk is. Um, there she is. Well, she can just fly right through those uh, those leaf blocks, huh? Now, hopefully, this is a self-sustaining system. So the theory is that we get mana to power the sylph off of the growth from these crops, and the mana is also being used by the wealth to harvest the crops. So we're getting some flax, because we have flax over here that grew. That leads me to believe that this will be modded. But what's the range on it, I wonder? Is it just that 20 by 20 square? I don't know. I guess one question is, are we getting spruce in the jungle over here? The answer is yes. So maybe... What I'm going to do is I'm going to plant a chili pepper over here in the corner at what I believe is the uh, the far end of the range. If it's a square, if it's, if it's ten blocks in any direction, it should be able to get that. If it can harvest that sort of thing. We still don't know that. So we definitely get flowers. Um... I planted a bunch. Oh, did you just see all of those numbers go up at once like that? That's amazing. I don't see any chili peppers yet, but the chest is full. And I gotta set up a little system here anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hook up some logistical transporters here. Oh, I'm terrible today. Alright, down our drawer controller, and it's not really clear how many different things we're going to have here. Is that drawn out already? It should be, right? Yeah. Let's see how we do. Folks, we got hot pepper. So now we know that our silk here, if it's a full, what would this be? This is 10 blocks away, that's 9, yeah, so 10 blocks in each direction. So what, 21 by 21? Maybe 20 by 20? I think 21 by 21. Um, and as you can see, we're getting a, a good amount of stuff. We've gotten it in a relatively short period of time. I wasn't expecting all the dirt. Um, but the flowers is very nice. I'm very happy about that. Our, our friend, the, the whelp, doesn't seem to, uh, to be doing their thing. Um, but, oh, well, whelp just did something. Is it the carbuncle that's not doing their thing? Carbuncle? We're going to try putting the carbuncle back down. That seems to be the uh, last piece of the puzzle here. Now, if I throw something, you'll pick it up, right? You're supposed to. Okay. But you're not taking it to the chest. That's very weird. You need more? Alright, maybe it's because the chest is part of this multi-block. We're going to cast the spell on our friend again here. Just going to make another chest real quick. 
a little, little bit of acacia. Let's put the carbuncle chest right over here, and that'll be fine. We'll just need uh, another logistical transporter, and we'll need to set it. Uh, let's configure it here onto full. Of course, I set it to blue. Um, ah! <laughs> there we go. Right, a piece of dirt down there. And we'll try the carbuncle on this chest. Well, maybe if I reload. Or it could be that I forgot about the Dominion wand. So let's uh... Carbuncle takes from this inventory. There we go. Alright. That's just fine. So what we have, what, I, what I'll be able to do is move the Pam's Cross, one of each, over here and a little bit more over here, if we have to. And also the same with having, having all these farmers over here to get the thermal expansion crop. But, uh, yeah, okay. Ars Nouveau Natural Resource Farm. We've got, uh, all kinds of things. Flowers, food, we're getting dirt, we're getting crops, wood, I mean, I already said food. Okay. Listen, I think this has been a pretty cool exploration of this particular mod. We've still got more. And, of course, there's plenty more in the pack. We haven't even gotten into a lot of this stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next episode.